Hello, I'm Agent Meeple and over a series of videos I'm going to be showing you how to get some great skin tone diversity out of the flesh pack. If you don't already have the flesh pack you can find a link to the web store in the description below. The skin tone we're going to focus on today is a tabletop version of Onyx skin. First we'll make up our triad ensuring we give each recipe a thorough mix. If you also have some water plus, you can add up to a drop to each combination to improve paint flow. For the base, we'll blend together one drop of pure oxide red, four drops of pure oxide yellow, and six drops of pure oxide black. One drop of pure oxide red, Four pure oxide yellow, and six drops of pure oxide black. I'm also going to add one drop of water plus to improve the paint flow. This will make mixing a lot easier. So I'm just going to give that a good mix. Next, we're going to make up the shade. We're going to use one drop of pure oxide red, nine drops of pure oxide black, and five drops of pure purple. Again, I'm going to add one drop of water plus to improve the flow. For these mixes you can add up to a drop because they're sufficiently large quantities. If you're making smaller quantities of any colour, you want to add less. The final one we're going to make up is the highlight. For the highlight we're going to mix 3 pure oxide red, 7 pure oxide black and 10 pure white. Now you're going to want to keep the water plus on hand, but your paint you can put to one side. So this is the miniature that I'm going to work on today. As you can see, she's got plenty of skin to paint. So the first step we're going to do is we're going to do the base coat. So we're just going to coat all of her skin in the base colour. The next step, now that the base coat is dry, is to apply a wash. For the wash, we're going to take our shade. We're using a size one brush. And we're going to separate off two brush loads. To this, we're going to add three drops of water plus to create a wash. And then we're going to apply this wash all over the skin, paying particular attention to the recesses. If you want deeper shadows, you can apply a second coat of wash once the first one has dried. Once your wash is dry, we're going to highlight. So using our highlight mix, we're going to carefully Pick out the raised areas on the skin, providing extra focus on the face and the upper areas of any convex shapes. Once that coat is dry, we're going to add an extra coat of highlights to the areas on the upper third of the body, such as the face, the shoulders, and the upper section of this leg. Just repeat the highlights again on these areas. This brings extra focus, 
higher up the body and to the face. While we wait for that to dry, we're going to mix our final step. So the final step we're going to do is a base tone glaze. So we're going to take our base tone. Like with the shade, we're going to take two brush loads. But this time we're going to add just two drops of Water Plus to create a glaze. And then we're just going to apply the base evenly over the skin. This glaze will ensure that our shadows and highlights are nice and smooth and we don't have any definite lines. And there we go. Nice, easy, tabletop quality onyx skin. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope I get to see you again for the next video.